Featherston is an isolated mining community with two fixations, rugby league and coal. And if anything, rugby takes precedence. Even the winding gear at the local colliery is painted in the club colours. Give me your strength and show me your weakness. We're in this together now. So we were funded through the Wakefield Culture Grant from Wakefield Council um, for a Pit to the Pitch project which is all about celebrating the club and the town's history. Um, I approached my Uncle Phil, um, who is also a massive Featherston fan. We, in our family, we all are big Featherston fans. So I approached him with just an idea of kind of, we'd commission, we'd got some, we'd been commissioned to do a mural as part of the project that could be a lasting legacy in the stadium for years to come. And I gave him kind of a little project brief, but kind of wanted to let him leave him to it. And I just wanted it to depict about Featherston history, mining and rugby league, um, and kind of left him to it. Phil, as a lifelong Featherston Rovers fan, how did you approach this art, this artwork? Uh, well, Amy had asked me. Uh, I can't remember where it might be Friday or something like that. And she'd seen her, and she says, um, "Okay, I think." Wanted this line about going linking first into the mining community. She says, I'll leave it with me then. And I don't really like doing sort of, I've never, well, to be honest, I've never done anything like this. And so I sort of sat down, started scratching my head. I know I'll run nights the week after. So I thought, I've got a bit of time. Um, first thing I did, I went and got some timber, an eight by eight before sheet. And I thought, well, that's give me incentive to start it. Uh, and then I just got a few ideas off the internet. I come into Clubhouse took a few pictures of the players that's round, uh, got the, the photo of, uh, of Jackie, and when I, uh, I, I then redeveloped them to make it into a larger side so, so that I can paint off them better. And, uh, and then I just started it, and I got these ideas of the, the layout, uh, the actual goal posts and the limb packs down, the old bullock shed, uh, come later. I just wanted to get the the miner in first and then the rugby player and then it, everything sort of developed after that. What are the plans for the mural now? Um, so part of the culture grant is that um, the funding that we receive from Wakefield Council we've actually, uh, the mural will be put on some signage um, on slightly larger scale than it, than it is and it'll be displayed in the stadium so that anybody visiting our stadium it's a lasting legacy of the project um, and we can celebrate Featherston heritage. I think when you speak to when you work in Featherston or if you're a part of the rugby club we are just really really proud of, of the club and the town's history and heritage so um, it'll be amazing to have this legacy um, for everybody to enjoy for years to come. Phil, how important do you think it is that current and future generations are aware of the, the mining heritage that exists within Featherston Rovers? Well, I think it's really important. I mean, I, my first game was well, down here in 1979. I always remember that, so that's a while ago now. Uh, and that's when Pitt was still going. Uh, and we just took it for granted that that's what it was. Uh, people worked at Pitt, people played for Fev. Uh, didn't know what else. As kids, we didn't know what else. Uh, and I'm very proud of that, and I think Ferguson should be very proud about this, this heritage that Featherston come from this. And I don't think we should ever forget this. I don't think we should ever forget it. And so just to, this is just a reminder to, to the a younger generation where we come from, even though it is hard for kids to understand what mining is. Heritage and history play a big part of the community being able to learn from past events and what we can do moving forward to just keep progressing um, on where we started. I think deal, working with this project and I've, I've been able to speak to loads of past players, fans, at former staff, um, other members of the community like a local author Ian Clayton who's already who's also been part of the project is people are very, we like to remember where we're from um, and talking about Featherston history it seems like it's been one of those clubs that's had to really really work hard uh, which I think is represented with um, how we started, you know, nicknamed the Colliers. We had players that were working down the pit for 10, 12 hour shifts and then coming training. You know, we were a, we're a hard working, grafting club. And I like to think that that's how we still are. You know, members of our board are still the hard working, grafting um, people um, from the past. So I think we're really inspired by our past. Give me your strength. 
Give me your strength and show me your weakness We're in this together now We're in this together now